Okay, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do a downgrade actually from my Logitech Brio to the newer Logitech Stream Cam or Streamer Cam, whatever you like to call it. It uh, will capture at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And that's this little guy right here, ordered it on Amazon. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Then we're gonna do a quick plug and play. I'm not gonna do anything to the settings whatsoever. I'm not gonna try to dial it in. We're gonna see what it looks like coming straight out of the box. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so I, I just carefully cut into it with my box cutter. Um, sometimes I, uh, I find it easier to cut the or bags or boxes open that way. Uh, you might wanna be careful when you do that. You don't wanna cut into the product, but I was pretty careful about it. So here it is, the Logitech Streamer or Stream Cam. It uh, will capture in 1080p. Go ahead and break the tape here. That's just so they can see that if you actually open the product before returning it. Um, here's the thing, obviously if it's defective, um, I'm sure Amazon will take it back. Okay, so here we go. I actually ordered the white one versus the black one and actually saved 20 bucks that way. I don't know why Amazon was doing it that way, but hey, I went for it. As you see here, here's like the quick instructions. They do have a uh, attachment. Well, hey, first off, here's the book. You know, typical, you know, cover our butt, legal jargon, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, so that way you don't try to record yourself in the bathtub. This thing is in here pretty good. I have to say, I was trying to figure out how, <laughs> it's like, oh, well, I guess I pushed this tab in. So I wrestled with this for a few minutes. Okay, so once I figured out, they uh, just go ahead and snap off those things here. Here is the cam and here is the attachment that comes with it. It's like a secondary attachment that you can use for a tripod. So that will come in handy. I have a few ideas on how I'm gonna use my Logitech and this cam at the same time. And let's go ahead and let's uh, use the Velcro strap here so we can see how long the cord is. As you see, the cord is plenty long. If I were to guess, it's about a uh, five to six foot cable, probably stretched out. Uh, I would guess five, five foot, because I'm six foot tall and I don't think it's the length of me. But as you see here, you know, it's the typical you know, attached to your monitor thing. You have the swivel and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and let's pop this off. And it comes off quite easy. And attach the uh, tripod and it snaps on perfectly. It's nice and tight. Comes off nice and easy. So as you can see, you would make uh, for a quick go. Like if you say you had it on top of the uh, your monitor and you wanted to switch over to a tripod real quick, it's uh, pretty quick and simple. So. No, then too frivolous. It's just the typical attached to your monitor uh, clamp. Once again, I did opt for the white one versus the black, saving me 20 bucks, but here it is. Okay, so now that we have it unboxed, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and I'll meet you right back. And we're gonna see what it looks like plug and play without me messing with any of the settings. All right, okay, so you're probably wondering, wait a minute, didn't Walt say he was gonna switch over to the uh, new Logitech Stream Cam? Well, that's the thing. Uh, I fell for the thing I preach the most about when buying products is read twice, read three times on the specs of the product. Well, here's the thing, it's a USB-C and unfortunately I don't have that in my computer. So I had to go ahead and order a dongle that attaches to it. And I went ahead and grabbed myself an extension cord at the same time because it's a five foot cable wall. That's going to be plenty to set it up on top of my monitor and whatnot. Uh, later on, I'm going to want to do a dual camera setup uh, using the uh, Logitech Brio and the Logitech Stream Cam. And I want to be able to get a different angle. So where I'm going to have it mounted is either on a tripod or a boom arm. So I went ahead and I just grabbed an extension for it. It's nothing major. It's just, I think, a uh, three foot extension, maybe six foot extension. I can't remember exactly what I ordered, but something like that. But you definitely need the dongle. Um, it doesn't cost much. I think it was like a whole whopping eight bucks. But let's go ahead and hook that up and uh, I'll see you back with the camera. So, no tweaking. This is literally plug and play. Uh, OBS picked it up. Uh, no problem. No problems whatsoever. 
Um, just make sure if you're using, say, a microphone, whether it be XLR or USB, that you disable the microphone on that when using OBS or Streamlabs OBS, so that way you don't have this echo effect going on. I apologize if you hear that or see that when I first had it initially connected. And also remember to peel off your little piece of plastic or whatever, because it's going to give you a real foggy look. Because at first I'm sitting there thinking, this is going back to Amazon. So really, without any tweaking or anything going on right here, uh, plug and play, I'm really kind of happy with it. Uh, the, the zoom really isn't that super sensitive, not as sensitive as the uh, Brio. Uh, it doesn't really have that light flickering either as well. So I'm really not going to have to do too much tweaking. I might have to uh, bump up the saturation. As you can see, I'm kind of uh, paleish, you know, in real life, I'm quite pale. So uh, you might have to go in and put some kind of filters or maybe just a slightly tweak the settings to the camera. Uh, so, so far I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with the Logitech cam. Okay, now I went in and tweaked it just a little bit. I brought up the uh, saturation just slightly, the contrast up just slightly. I set the exposure to negative five. I took uh, some of that uh, backlighting compensation off. Um, as you can see, not a huge difference, but at the same time, I'm not whitewashed. I'm not, uh, you know, super pale. I don't look like a white walker, uh, you know, trying out for uh, the next uh, Game of Thrones uh, series that probably would ever come. But at any rate, the Logitech. So first initial uh, feelings on the Logitech stream cam. I'd have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised i was kind of you know i was expecting that they would deliver on the product i know some of y'all aren't really logitech fanboys like i am myself um i really never had super bad issues with the brio but i just felt that i had to do a lot of tweaking before going live or recording content we're here this really this plug and play uh you know uh, logitech stream cam really didn't take that much tweaking and i don't know let me know what you think in the comments below don't fit forget to click and subscribe and by the way i will put the links for the camera which is my affiliate links and for the dongle and the extension cord in case you uh, feel that you need more than five foot as myself and obviously if you do not have a usb c type connection going to your pc then you're going to need the dongle as well so let me know what you think uh below um but yeah i'll see you around